I am Anthony from Hatchlersnet. In this video, I will be covering an individual topic from my book, The 21st Century Workplace, a HR and EEO guide. If you like what you hear, please check out the Amazon affiliate link in the description or visit my website at tony.hasledge.net. That's T-O-N-Y dot H-A-S-L-A-G-E dot net. Thank you. I'm Anthony from Hatchesnet. Today we're going to talk about compartmentalization. That is one long, that is what they call a college word. Uh, but dictionary.com defines compartmentalization as a verb to divide into categories or compartments. In business, compartmentalization is a way of life. As administrators, we must compartmentalize everything. Our organizational structure is compartmentalized. I'm going to say this word a lot, by the way. But that is a given, of course. Uh, our thought processes also need to be compartmentalized. Done correctly, issues can be handled strictly as a function of themselves and not of any unrelated outside factors. To better explain it uh, in terms of mental reasoning, consider an employee, and he will do. This employee has two unrelated assignments. The first uh, assignment the employee does less than top quality work. The reason doesn't matter for this example. However, the employee's second assignment is a bit more complicated than they have become used to and asked for help. This is where compartmentalization comes in. Typically, an administrator would have negative feelings towards an employee as a result of their previous assignment. These negative feelings not only impact the administrator's work, but it also impacts employees. These feelings need to be compartmentalized. The feelings the administrator had related to another issue should not impact the issue at hand. The easiest way to look at this approach is to consider that the assignments are entirely separate, no matter the person who assigned them. It may seem a bit cold and callous, but sometimes administrators function better when they disassociate feelings towards any person when it comes to getting work done. To put this in human terms, I had a staff member who was responsible for two different assignments. I was not happy with the results of the first. In fact, I yelled at them because I knew they had done much better work in the past that had similar requirements. As soon as I finished venting, I changed the topic to a second assignment that they were handling rather nicely. My demeanor switched 180 degrees. I went from disappointment to satisfaction in short order. I later learned that the employee felt that I may have suffered some type of mental breakdown. The fact is that I weighed the results of both assignments as they stood on their own. If I would have taken my feelings of the first assignment's results and placed them onto the second, it would have surely have tainted that evaluation. Even if the first assignment was satisfactory and the second was a disappointment, without compartmentalization, I could have possibly evaluated a disappointing assignment in the light of the satisfaction of the first. Not compartmentalizing the similar issues can be disastrous in the long run. The taint from not doing so is usually small at first, but can build up very quickly. Uh, do not allow bad projects to endure in the light of good ones, and do not allow good projects to fail in the light of bad ones. So when should compartmentalization be avoided? when there is a stream of negative or positive output. If someone keeps turning in bad work time after time, maybe their status in the organization needs changed for the worst. If someone keeps turning in good work time after time, maybe their status in the organization needs to be changed for the better. Compartmentalization does not mean to wear blinders. It is simply a means to avoid corrupting the view of one thing with another. Thanks for watching. If you have any comments, please remember to post them below and remember to like and subscribe. Thank you for watching this video. We would also like to thank our contributors and patrons for supporting this video. If you wish to add to the discussion, post a comment below. Please remember to like, subscribe, and check out our other videos. Thank you for checking out our content. Before you leave, please remember to click like and then subscribe. If you want to receive notifications, do not forget to enable them by clicking on the bell. Then afterwards, check out our social media at Hasledge.net and our website at hasledge.net.